Sensodyne presents Body and Mind Season 6, powered by Autry Natural. Over the last many seasons, we brought some amazing and adventurous fitness programs for you guys. But today, the fitness concept that we are going to explore has been typically designed for kids, as you guys can see. But it's going to be done by us big kids. This program is meant to help kids leap into greatness. The idea of Pinpoint Fitness and the name, where the name comes from, Pinpoint, uh, was to create a fitness center dedicated to training with a very scientific approach, approach that is based on accuracy, based on having measurable tasks that you um, uh, try to attempt, and then when you complete them, you have a measurable outcome that you know that you will get when, once you reach that specific milestone. So when it comes to confidence building for the kids, we, when they first walk into the gym, we demonstrate the moves to them. We show them that this is what you're going to be learning today. And it's usually something that they perceive as difficult. Having them, by the end of the session, complete this task, gives them a huge sense of achievement and a, a really strong confidence boost. So my first reason is why I come here is because they teach me so much skills. Everything is just like so nice and also another reason is that they just keep on pushing me and pushing me and pushing me and when I see someone doing it I feel like I want to do it again and again and again until I master it perfectly and that's what I like doing. I like Coach Salmon because he makes everything easy and I feel interested when he explains. There is a saying if you cannot explain something to a six year old then maybe you don't understand it well enough. And I believe in that, that you really need to have um, very thorough information and about what you're doing. And at the same time, you need to know which route or which route to take to, uh, to explain it to every kid. So within the class, we do reward them when they accomplish uh, the task. And uh, we get their name on the board of heroes, we give them stars, all those different types of rewards. Uh, which make them compare versus each other. But we always go back to the point that you have to always compare your relative progress to how you were before and how you have become. When I found this place, they started to have more exposure of the small challenges and victories that changed their lives in that time. And it was a catalyst to come back to their old self again. A part of this, they are interacting with the kids. And this is very important at that such age or any other age. The reason I come here is because I make more friends, I feel happier, and I feel stronger the more exercises I do. So the skills that we teach in our classes are designed to build well-rounded athletes. And by well-rounded athletes, I mean athletes that can perform in different uh, aspects or elements of fitness. So they can be agile, strong, uh, have high endurance, good balance, good coordination, which can help them perform in all aspects of life and any sport that they take on later on. It's time to meet the brain and the muscle behind Pinpoint Fitness. Let's say hello to Samir. Hi, Samir. Hi, Ashwarya. Yeah. Happy uh, to be here. Yeah, okay. I, I wish I could say the same. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm sure we're going to have fun. Tell us a little bit about the concept behind Pinpoint Fitness. Okay, so Pinpoint Fitness is a training center that is dedicated for kids between the ages of 4 and 15. So what we do in our classes is we teach the kids how to go through obstacle courses in the most efficient way possible. We use techniques from parkour, obstacle course training, Ninja Warrior, uh, this type of styles uh, to teach the kids to overcome all sorts of obstacles. Okay, I know that you're usually used to working with kids, but today you're gonna be working with adults, right? Yes. <laughs> the, the Dubai Fitness Challenge is around the corner and Samir has tailor-made an obstacle course for myself and a special guest who you will meet in just a minute.
So guys, my opponent today is a model, actress, teacher, and she also used to be a personal trainer. Let's say hello to Taran. Hi, Taran. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? You know, I'm a little bit intimidated already just looking at how <laughs> fit you are. We are definitely not on the same fitness level. No, we will be. Don't worry. We're going to be really great today. <laughs> you actually have quite an interesting transformational story yourself because you had a little bit of an unhealthy lifestyle, but yeah. today you are at the weight and shape that you are in. How does that happen? I think it's just the mind call you get after some time when you realize looking at yourself maybe you're losing your confidence and you have to get up and you know work that up so that happens to me and uh, I did listen to it and I was just not you know doing nothing about it mm. I started working out of the healthier lifestyle and I think it's really good yeah. your mind feels so good when you're working out and you're eating healthy all right Taran so tell me what can we wh what are you expecting from today's obstacle course to be very honest I didn't think of anything mm -hmm. I am just going to go and see what is it waiting for me and I am gonna take the challenge you know I feel like I'm at a bit of a place of disadvantage over here because I'm competing with someone who used to be a personal trainer and I have a toe injury I should just go home. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. We're right, gonna do this together. All right, let's do this then. <laughs> right. Ash, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Nice. Yes, run! Time to stop the time! The first challenge really shook me because uh, the beginning was quite simple but that part where you need to jump on the triangles was so freaky. It just literally scared me because I had the fear that the triangles would either separate or I would slip and fall, twist my ankle. So that part was a little bit challenging for me but otherwise that, that course was very doable I thought. I'm happy I did it under 10 seconds otherwise it would have been pretty embarrassing. <laughs> All right, Tarn, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Tarn! Wow, six, sixty-four, nice, nice, nice. There was a nervousness because I've never done challenges like, you know, competing someone and doing it in seconds. So obviously there was nervousness and moreover the triangular thing to step on and it was slippery you know and if you don't know the technique you'll go down but it was fun and I literally felt so good when it happened under 7 seconds. Alright guys time for challenge number 2. Ash and Tarn are you ready? 3, 2, 1, go! Nice. Come on, Ash. Run, run, run. Yes, yes. Up, up, stop the time. Yes. Nice. Yeah, that was good. Tyron, first bump, that was good. First bump here. That was good. Yeah, I think after uh, winning the first one, I was overexcited and I was seeing myself winning it, you know, through the start, I was ahead and climbed the rock and guess what, you got your lesson, you fall down. <laughs> Taran was leading right till the end, but she had a fall just while we were doing the rope climbing, which kind of scared me because I could see from the corner of my eye her going down, <laughs> so I was like, ah, what's going to happen to me? But at the same time, uh, I won, so I can't complain. <laughs> All right, Taran, are you ready? Challenge number three. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Stop. Bump, awesome, good. I never did something with gripping because you need a lot of balance, you need to hold your body weight there and it was really fun and, and I was quite fast in that though so it was really fun and I think the last one which we have to push, put our all weight on the wall and then walk in, that was a little tricky because if you got down, gone. <laughs> Alright Ash, challenge number three, are you ready? Three, two, one, go!
Nice, you're doing good, you're doing good. Yes. It's okay, keep going, keep going, it's fine. Yes, almost there. Stop the time. Nice. Nice. The last challenge I would say in comparison to the first and second was the easiest, although that is the one in which I probably performed my, you know, worst. <laughs> but it was actually quite easy to do, but if you don't get the right grip, then that can hinder your performance and that's what happened to me. To be honest, it was such a fun day. I never had this, uh, this kind of day before. It was really great. I would love to come back and you know ask them if they can, they can start for adults someday. It is really fun and you know, the techniques you get to learn, it builds your strength. Where, you know, some, because we do some other stuff, it builds your st strength and you know, that fear will go away <laughs> of falling down most of the times. What was I thinking trying to challenge a personal trainer and a fitness model with a obstacle course training? But you know, the best thing is that even though I lost, it was a lot of fun. I see why the kids enjoy it because it's quite playful. Right guys, it's time for a quick break. There's lots more on the other side. Welcome back to Sensodyne Presents Body and Mind Season 6 powered by Autry Natural. Don't know which side of the fence you are, but do you sometimes get freaked out thinking about fats and the fat content in food? Well, I personally think not all fat is bad fat. So today we'll highlight some food that have great source of healthy fats. And to take us through this journey, I'm joined by Chef Avnish from Dialogue Dubai. Hi, Chef. Hi, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you so much. So, healthy fats, which was also my nickname in high school. Uh, was not mine, <laughs> was not mine, that's for sure. That was a joke, I was actually all skin and bones. Um, fat, like I said earlier, is not always a bad thing because sometimes you actually need a little bit of fat in your life. Well, you do need a lot of fat in sense of, you know, like to have that energy throughout the day. Mm. Like, especially if you're working out and going for an entire day of work starting from 9 in the morning to let's say 9 at night, you do need fat. And there are some fats which are really good. Yeah. So you have avocados, you have peanut butter, you have a lot of nuts, you have melons and things. You have that and that gives you the energy throughout the day to keep you pumping okay. and going. Okay, so That's to fine. keep me pumping today, what have you prepared for me? So then? the first one what you have there is an avocado and cucumber gazpacho with a tandoori avocado uh, toast. So it's my take on an avocado toast with a cold soup. So you know, normally you don't want to have, especially in the summers and you're in Dubai, yeah. you really don't want to have a hot soup. So an avocado gazpacho does work out. And the sado just, you know, like gives you a little crunch. Tell me a little bit about the tandoori avocado. So the tandoori avocado per se is, it does in marination is with uh, yogurt, a little bit of your know, red chili powder, a little bit of cumin powder, and that's in this roasted in the oven. Mm. And then the soup itself is, you know, there's nothing to do, there's no cooking involved in it. So it's avocado, it's onions, it's cucumbers, all blitz up. Added a little bit of, you can add a low fat um, yogurt or you can add vegan yogurt or you can add your coconut milk mm. to give it a little body and just blitz it up and just have it. You know, for the longest time, I didn't know that coconut milk is actually not as unhealthy for you. I kind of associated it with cream a lot of the times because it is so delicious. But, uh, I think that's because, you know, like everyone uses coconut milk, you know, like for the, it's a cream substitute. So everyone, that's why thinks that ah. it is as good as cream, oh. but no, it is actually one of the best things to have around. I like the gazpacho, it's nice and light. The tandoori avocado definitely packs a punch because of the spice element yes. in it. And avocado is obviously a superfood. It's a rich source of uh, antioxidant right. and fiber, monosaturated fats. I could go on and on about avocado. The best thing is it's one of those tasty, uh, you know, yes. unlike kale, uh, avocado is such a delicious food, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I think it, it takes us, us chefs a lot of time to actually do something with kale. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, avocado is like an easier thing for all of us to work with. Okay. So that's where your second dish comes out. It is okay. our version. Second of, dish, are you taking me to the streets? I'm taking the streets of <laughs> India. So okay. normally, uh, this is an avocado property chart. Mm -hmm. Normally you'll have it with potatoes. I've substituted the potatoes for avocado mm -hmm. and the same spices. So you have your mint chutney, your salt, your tamarind chutney, you'd still, it's a baked um, biscuit at the base. Mm. Normally it's fried, but it's a baked one here. And we have used baked uh, gram flour on top of that for the crunch. So it is, it still has, so it's basically, I'm trying to get a little bit of Mexican into the Indian food. Okay, 
What's the base? Tell me a little bit. The base is again, it is your biscuit, so it's made of flour. But normally and traditionally in India, you deep fry it in, in clarified butter or ghee. Here we are born and baked it. And this dish is there on the menu and dialogue as well. As you know, a lot of people, you know, want charts, especially in the evening when you come at seven o'clock and you know, something which is spicy, you know, a little tangy and goes well with whatever you're having in the evening with us. Well, I can have chaat as early as 7 a.m. in the morning because it is one of those foods that you can never get enough of. Honestly, had you not told me about the preparation, I wouldn't have known that this is such a healthy version of your traditional chaat. It is just as delicious. Not being funny about it, it still packs the punch. It's got the spice, the tankiness, the crunch from the save. Is this regular save you've used? No, this is a potato one. As a normal one has gram flour again, but we are using a potato and gram flour mix out here. That is so tasty. I believe you can have just that alone as a snack when yeah, you're you watching could. TV or just relaxing. You can. Right? It is considered a good snack and it's healthy as well because you're not fried at all. Delicious. And I've been to Dialogue myself and I must say I loved the butter chicken samosa. It was so good. Thank you so much. But for okay, that. we're talking about healthy food over here. All right, Ash, come back. <laughs> all so right. The next one here is a grilled chicken with a uh, tarka wedge and a peanut butter reduction or salad. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this dish. Sure. So this is your grilled chicken just with your Indian spices and olive oil. The sauce itself is made with um, coriander, uh, coriander, cashew nuts and, must and sesame seeds which are first dry roasted and then blitz in a, in a mixer. And after that we just cooked it up with a little bit of coconut milk, your garlic and your peanut butter to finish it up because which again is a healthy food. So I've substituted the butter, the cream by using peanut butter. You know the sauce kind of reminds me of a South Indian bartarche yes. curry. Yes, it is a South Indian, so there is ah. a, South, a South Indian take to it. So it's my version. So if you see, see this I know is, my South Indian. <laughs> very good actually. <laughs> I wasn't sure about that myself. <laughs> but this is like, you know, like if you have the, the South Indian biryani, so you know, the Hyderabadi biryani, they give you a salam. This is my version of that. I like how you've gone uh, a bit light on the spice with the chicken because it's the curry or the sauce that really packs the flavor. It's got a really nice robust flavor. It reminds me of eating a curry in my grandma's house. It is very, very tasty. And of course, um, no dish is good without the actual meat being of supreme quality. And that's why we only use alium chicken, which is antibiotic free, hormone free. Mm -hmm and the chicken has a 100% vegetarian diet. That chicken is a better person than I am. And all of us actually. <laughs> Perfect. Chef, thank you so much for coming over and preparing this feast for me. I cannot wait to come back to Dialogue and uh, enjoy some amazing treats and of course just uh, listen to some good old Bollywood tunes as well. Please do, <laughs> welcome anytime. Thank you so much. Did you guys know that avocado is also known as alligator pear and butter fruit? Interesting names, huh? Just like all the interesting ways it can be prepared and Chef Avnish proved just that. I'm gonna go finish that uh, chart which is staring at me and you guys go take a break. There's lots more on the other side. Welcome back to Body and Mind Season 6. The concept of crystal healing has been around for centuries. This alternative energy-based healing has found resonance with many. So today at Z Proyecto, we will explore the crystal connect with fashion, art and lifestyle. the stunning Z Proyecto Boutique in Algarve Center. It is definitely a hidden gem and I use the word gem because that is what they're all about. They use crystals in fashion, clothing, jewelry and home decor. And I'm sat next to the founder of the place, the lovely Zakia. Hi Zakia. Hello Shwarya, nice having you here. Thank you for sharing your energy with us. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I hope it's a positive one. It is a very positive one because we deal with energy because crystals are all about energy and the vibration and your vibration and your energies 
amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Such a cute boutique, by the thank way. You it's so got much. a great uh, aura and energy about thank it, you. which you know I, I feed off the energy of my uh, environment. Um, now, tell me a little bit about Z Proyecto because I understand that crystal healing has been around for centuries, but I would say especially after celebrities have embraced it, it has made more of a resurgence, would you say? Yes, I would say so. So Z Proyecto is a brand that I've merged my name, which is Zakia, which is an Arabic name, which means pure, with Proyecto is a Spanish for project. The reason I use the Spanish name because my husband's Spanish, so we merged the uh, two um, parts to call it uh, a project of purity. That's yeah. nice. So you're from Oman and your husband is Spanish. I bet you guys make a very exotic oh, couple. Thank you. <laughs> now, um, do, especially during times of uncertainty like the one that we are in right now, I feel like people are looking for different ways to release their stress and be more mindful in general. And alternative methods such as crystal healing, uh, something like this which has been around for ages, I feel like people are embracing it a little bit more. What gave you the idea to merge crystal healing with fashion so fashion is something everyone wants like for now you for see sure. such a beautiful Amen, dress <laughs> on you Ashwarya so uh, and clothing as a as a whole is a need so what I used I used the need and as well as what we want the fashion and I merged it with the holistic aspect of crystals because to feel the vibration of crystals on the clothes what would you say some of the healing properties of crystal are so as I told you, self-love is number one, which I give everyone uh, rose quartz. Uh, rose quartz is nice even for male and females because it's something that when you love yourself, you attract love because some people, you know, Couldn't they don't- agree more. Yes, <laughs> that's how you need to love yourself first in order to give others because when you tend to give more, relationships won't uh, last. Mm. Yeah, it has to be in equilibrium. It shouldn't be the more taker or a giver. It needs to be a balance. A balance. Absolutely. So crystals create that balance. So an equilibrium. Okay. Now off camera, Zakia gave me a questionnaire that had about 42 questions. It was a little bit more of a personality test and I just had to answer with a yes or no. And I can honestly say that you probably know me on a deeper level than most people who have known me for many years. So based on my personality type, because you have studied my questionnaire, what would you say is the crystal that best suits my Firstly, personality Firstly, I would like type? to tell you, thank you for sharing your um, uh, information with me. And what we've selected for you, I would say, at Z Project, I'm representing my brand. I've selected hematite, number one, because you're a very sensitive person and you get very, uh, your energy, uh, you're very sensitive to other people's energy. Absolutely. So you need to wear it on your left hand side because it's the receiving side. So you're gonna wear this on your left side for uh, keeping away anyone else's negativity or anyone else's down moods so it shouldn't affect you as a person because they are very sensitive. I know that crystals have a lot of healing properties, but if you choose the wrong kind of crystal, can it have an adverse effect? I wouldn't say like an adverse effect, but you will see like a kind of shift that you feel like it's not working for you. So you need to understand crystals more um, deep to, uh, or through a crystal healer who has studied crystal healing in order to choose the right crystal because if you have anxiety and you're anxious and you and you want to relax and you choose for instance something that wants to give you energy like uh, jasper or anything red uh, stones that could have a counter effect so you want to calm down and you're creating more amplification on the uh, you know on your energy so you need to understand which crystal is used when like for what reason why do you need it and you're and the, the best purpose. person to give that answer <laughs> oh, thank now, you Zakia, besides crystal and embellished clothes, jewelry and home decor. You also have frankincense. Yes, so frankincense is uh, something that is, comes from the Sultanate of Oman. The best quality frankincense comes from there. And Oman is the Khaliji, so even UAE, everyone from here as well use it. And this is the highest quality of frankincense, which is the green one known as Dakar Akhtar, which can be used for 
consu consuming it, but not the solid part, only taking the benefits out of oh, it. Oh, okay, this is like, the first time I, you know, I've never really known that this is something you can actually orally consume. You were just telling me that in Salala, people actually chew frankincense and spit it out, much yes. like a chewing gum. You don't eat it, yes. but then you just take the benefits of it yes. and discard it. so they it. take the benefits, so they prevent gingivitis, and they keep their teeth white with frankincense. Yeah. And then also it has benefits such as for the digestive system, uh, preventing constipation, uh, creating uh, immunity to the body. So this is the best part, uh, the best type of frankincense uh, that we have uh, in Z Proyecto. And also I have a little small thing for you okay. uh, that I would like to uh, give you uh, is a small goodie bag Thank for you. you. This is a big goodie bag, <laughs> not a small one. Okay, what's in it? Let me, okay, let me check. It, uh, I know it's rude to open the gifts no, early, but, I but, wanted then, you too. but then I can't resist. Tell yes. me what's in it. So the crystals in your hand right now are all from love. Mm -hmm. So self-love, you need to love yourself more so you can give others. And it's not only based on um, man love, it's uh, mother love, child love, animals as well. Anything around you, people you encounter daily in your life to create that love and um, happiness. Absolutely. I'm all about attracting love, so I'll make You're sure so to wear these so every day. You Thank, you. Definitely Thank you so much. I'll take that. <laughs> uh, and it also looks amazing, which is uh, only a Thank bonus you. to the amazing healing properties that it has. Zakia, I've you, had Sharon. so much fun being here. I know it's COVID, but I'm going to shake your hand <laughs> oh, and thank no you problem. so much for being here. Thank you so much thank for having me. I'm energy. really excited and to try your these. energy with us. Pleasure. Thank you. This is not just any goodie bag. This has the power of crystal healing. All right, guys, as I always say, use your powers for good and make sure to come right back same time next week with another powerful edition of Body and Mind Season 6.